people come to life. All around me. I never should have tried to make it home that day. I should have stayed at the office. It was in that moment I realized almost everyone I knew was probably dead. My coworkers, my friends, my neighbors, my family. And not me. Or my boyfriend. Thank God. Come on, hurry. Give me the bat, Mike. I, I want to try. Or his idiot best friend. No offense. Jesus, Terry! Help me move the body so Michonne can close the door. The early days were a mess. Nobody knew what to do. Back then, we didn't even know that a bite was a death sentence. Move! <laughs> Had to add boyfriend to the list of dead. Or rather, I was about to. I wouldn't find out about the bites killing for another day. Lucky me. Later that night, we got rid of the dead one that attacked us. Dragged it to the backyard. I started searching the neighbor's house for supplies, bandages, and such. I wanted to find a gun. No such luck. The search was in total loss. The neighbor's boy collected swords. Hated that before. Would swear he killed our dog with one. That night, I wasn't so upset about it. I ended up spending the night in a house almost a block away. Too many corpses outside. Got pinned down. On the walk back, the next morning, I realized I never were taken off my work clothes. <laughs> I guess when you don't sleep, you don't think to do that. Mike died while I was away. And somehow, bit Terry in the process. Luckily, the kid's sword was sharp. <clears throat> I didn't know what to do. I locked them away. I couldn't kill them. The encounter drew out a lot of attention, thanks to my screams. The street became overrun. Eventually, I ran out of food. There was nothing to do but watch them and starve. I was going to die in that house. Join you. That thought at least brought me comfort. But then I noticed it. They don't attack each other. I came up with a plan that actually worked. Escorts. They kept the dead from noticing me. I was so proud of myself, I almost stopped being sad for a second while I hacked off your arms and lower jaw. Now that you couldn't attack me, I changed you up, abandoned our home, and set off in search of food and supplies. I know you've heard of that before. Hell, you were there. Thing is, I have to remember who you were, what happened. Sometimes I think I'm starting to forget, and I just don't have anyone else to talk to. <laughs> <laughs>